Today's video will demonstrate how we built this model of an F-86 fighter jet in Strata 3D. We start with the fuselage. The fuselage consists of three skinned objects. First, we will make ribs to use to skin the main body of the aircraft. This diagram of a scale model F-86 has cross-sectional profiles along the length of the fuselage, A, B, C, D. We can use these to make our first few ribs. There is a link to the diagram in the comment section of this video. Now we open Strata 3D. Start a new empty project. Go to front view. Then set the backdrop to the diagram. Use the pen 2D regional tool to draw the first rib. Usually you will leave the rib filled, but in this case, since the fuselage is hollow, uncheck the filled box in the Object Properties palette. Drag copy the rib three times. Resize the ribs to match the other fuselage profiles. Don't try to draw the canopy portion of rib B or the tail on rib D. The key is to make each rib symmetrical. Place the ribs in order along the length of the fuselage, A, B, C, D, using a cropped version of the diagram in the backdrop. Then, skin the ribs together. Let's see how that looks. You can go to Edit Object in the Modeling menu to adjust the placement of the ribs. To get the shape right, we used eight ribs, deleting rib D along the way. Look at this last rib at the back end. It is not 2D. We grabbed the top point and pulled it back in Edit Object to match the exhaust on the F-86. Skin it back together. That is the first part of the fuselage for now. We can always go back and adjust the placement, size, and rotation of the ribs in Edit Object. And we can unskin our object and re-edit any individual rib if needed at any time during the process of building the model. Skinning works very well in Strata. Now we will model the unique jet intake nose of the F-86. We want to make a copy of the first rib of the body and use that to skin the nose object. Now 
These are the ribs we used to make our nose. Let's hide the body and take a look at the nose ribs. Notice the front rib. Rib three has been curved in edit object and rotate it. And that rib four is to the right of rib one. Let's skin this. One to two to three to four. It looks like this from the side. The nose seamlessly attaches to the body. Now, we want to make this part of the fuselage. There it is. It also needs to attach seamlessly. It is another skinned object. We used these three ribs to make the object. Group these together and that is the fuselage. Time to put on the wings. Now it's starting to look like an airplane. Let's look at how we made these wings. The wing group. The right wing group. Here is where the wing is assembled. We used a cropped version of our diagram to lay out the wing ribs for skinning. Let's hide the wing tip for now and look at the skinned part of the wing. We used just two ribs here. For the wing tip, we did something a little different. To make the rounded tip, we used a primitive sphere. then used a primitive cube with Boolean subtraction to cut the sphere in half. Convert the object to a polygon mesh, then in edit object vertex mode, we pulled the points to match the profile of the small rib of the skinned wing. Hide the tip again. Reskin the wing. Unhide the tip. This is the right wing. Use the reflect tool to make the left wing. Position the new wing. 
Tilt each wing up three degrees. The wings are done. Let's make the tail. That's what it looks like, another skinned object. Here it is, unskinned. It is made with 10 ribs. All the ribs are copies of the first rib, scaled to size. Let's take a look. Now we are going to make the small stabilizers by the tail. All we did here was to make a copy of the wing group. Scale it, stretch it, we used the top view of the diagram to get the size, shape, and position right. This is nearly the finished plane. It just needs the canopy to look like a reasonable facsimile of an F-86. Coming in part two of the video. We'll apply textures. Add that canopy. Punch a hole in the fuselage and add a cockpit. Put on some landing gear. Import a pilot from another application and create a spherical background environment to fly your F-86 Sabre jet around in.